right, we are here at the Chalet Inn in Centerport, New York. And notice how well kept all the furniture and gardening is out here. So I'm here on room number 210, and we're going to take a tour. Ah. This door can be a bit of a handful. So let's go ahead and step inside. Oh yeah, one criticism I did have of the outside, it's a really minor point, but these room numbers on the door can be very hard to read from a distance, so when you're in the parking lot, it's a little hard to tell where you're supposed to be going. Some more directional signs would be kind of nice. It's a minor point, but still worth mentioning. The door is a little bit tricky. So anyway, this is a very interesting property because the lobby, the grounds, everything here is basically straight out of the 1970s, but it is in beautiful condition. This place is almost like a time capsule. Like for instance, when you look at the key, I wonder when this thing was printed. The font looks very old. It's almost like an antique. And it's in good shape. You'll hear me saying that line quite a bit. It's also been quite some time since in a hotel I've gotten a regular metal key versus an electronic one. So, kind of shows the age a bit. With a vintage keychain, it's sort of cute. As for the rest of the door, we have all your standard security features, including a deadbolt, a chain lock, one other really neat thing is this Do Not Disturb card. You know, one side is the maid service side, and I wonder when this thing was printed. <laughs> this must be original to the building. I bet this is printed in the 60s or 70s. I don't see a copyright date anywhere on it. I wish there was one. And then you got the Do Not Disturb side over here. One of my favorite things about the Do Not Disturb side is this line on the bottom. It's important. If you do not wish to be disturbed by telephone calls, please notify the operator. I love that. So yeah, this place has a lot of character to it. Another thing that's funny is that when you look at this fire map over here, which shows the layout of the property, it's sort of like a modified U-shape, you can see they have a, uh, a phone number for the fire department, and at some point the area code changed. My friend told me that happened back in the 1990s, and you can see where they just took white out and put the new uh, area code on. This thing was probably typed up on a typewriter many, many years ago, and it's still here on the door. So yeah, they're well taken care of in the security department. The grounds are very well kept. It seems like it's a very well cared for property. And also bear in mind that this is one of the cheapest options on Long Island that I could see. That's anywhere near, you know, halfway decent. And uh, as you look around the room, I mean, we'll get the obvious out of the way. I mean, welcome to 1975. <laughs> but with that being said, the place is very, very clean and well-kept, just like it is outside. Looking down at the carpet, it might look like it's kind of dirty, but what you're dealing with here is one of these carpets where when you turn the bristles over, they turn a different color. I don't know if it shows up on video so much. The carpet is clean, just sort of an unfortunate color. As you look back this way, the most unique feature to this room, by far, is the brickwork. And this isn't like the cheap 70s stuff where it's imitation brick. This is actual real brick and mortar, even on the wall on the side. You don't see that very often. And you got the wood beam on top, and the ceiling is actually pitched when you look at it, which is also pretty rare. As you can tell, we're on the top floor in this section of the motel. Curtains have obviously been there for a while. They kind of go with the overall 70s theme in here, as well as this table and chairs. Again, I'll keep repeating myself over and over, it's all in beautiful shape, sort of like my uh, 70s time capsule theme that I was talking about. One little stain on the chair, it's passable. The table's in good shape. I made the mess on here, that wasn't here when I came in. This is actually my second night. Another thing that's really impressive is that this morning I had a do not disturb sign on the door until almost noon and when I left they still took the time to come in here and not only just drop off new towels and make the bed up they actually did clean in here you could smell the cleaning chemicals so they really do put some effort in day to day keeping the place clean the lighting in here is pretty good uh, no real issues there Climate control unit is a carrier that's eh, probably around 10 years old or so. 
runs very well and it's nice and quiet. Actually, I might turn it up because I want to drown the noise out a little more at night. So yeah, we're in very good shape so far. Over here is probably the one modern amenity that this room has, which is a very, very large flat screen television. It's probably a 40 inch one at least, which is not exactly what I was expecting. And you got the uh, digital cable box over here. Cablevision, you know you're on Long Island. And another mirror right here, so, hi. Now, I could go off on my usual rant about the bed linens. Not only are these the type that are difficult to clean, they also have like this little ruffle design, which makes it even more difficult. But if you look, this thing is spotless, and I mean spotless. Even the decorative pillows, which are another no-no in the hotel industry, because everybody that comes in the room when they see these things will throw them on the floor. And you always have to wonder, do they just pick it up off the floor and throw it back on the bed after each guest? But there's no sign of any sort of dirt or hair or dust, anything on these. They're perfectly clean. So I have to assume they wash these covers even on the decorative pillows after every guest. Peel back this thing and we keep the vintage bed linens going with this little, uh, pretty sure, I don't think this is a real wool blanket. I'm pretty sure it's one of the imitation ones, but it's pretty soft and comfortable. And then you get to the sheets, which are also spotless and perfectly clean. And there's two nice king-size pillows on the bed. Mattress is pretty fair. A little better than what you typically expect at a uh, budget motel, so that's always nice. The furniture's all in good shape, too. It's probably the latest hotel tour I've ever done. It's 2.22 in the morning. I need to get to bed. I just wanted to make sure that I got this done while the room was actually made up. So yeah, it may be 70s, but it is clean and it is well kept. You have to have a lot of respect for hotel managers or hotel owners uh, that own and manage a property of this age and keep it up this well. It can't be very easy. Another unusual feature that this place has, typically at a motel style place, you know, the exterior corridors, You'll just have a shelf next to the sink for a closet, but here you have an actual closet. No joke. Plenty of hangers, tons of space. It's a pretty unique feature. The bathroom seems to be one other area where they have updated things a bit. It looks like they put in a new granite, uh, yeah it feels like it is real granite. So a new granite uh, sink top, which is actually huge, there's tons of space on here. There was actually room for double sinks. So yeah, I mean, there's more than enough room to store all your things in here. The tile work also looks new, and it looks like when they were doing the granite, they put these new door sills in, too. So this looks pretty fresh and pretty modern. It's nice to have the bathroom to be the um, you know, nicest area of the room, too. One thing that's kind of funny is they crammed this little mini fridge down here, and there's a bunch of parts that were broken off and just sitting on the top. But it works pretty well. Got some leftover dessert from a restaurant earlier on. So, no real complaints there. They have it unplugged when you come in, so you just have to come in and plug it in the outlet up there. And then you get to the bathroom, and this is where we uh, leave the 2000s or so when this was redone and go back to 1975. Now, really the only cosmetic issue you have in here is that there's some tiles that are missing up on the ceiling, and the light fixture's in kind of rough shape. But uh, the rest of the bathroom, while vintage, is very well kept up. I love the tiles that are all over all the walls, and even up here on the ceiling, which is pretty unique. So yeah, in here you just have the toilet. They give you plenty of towels over here. It's actually a little floor heater down there, too. And then you've got the shower stall with rolling glass doors, like you'll find in an old house. And it is just a dedicated shower stall. There's even two seats in here, which is kind of unique. And then I love these old knobs. The wood grain on the front and this funny shape. The shower pressure is excellent. I mean, there's no complaints there whatsoever. It's a very nice shower. So yeah, I mean, there you have it. That's pretty much everything there is to see. Oh, and you even get a window in the bathroom too, which is sort of unique for a motel style property. So yeah, 
it's vintage, 70s old school, but they really, really keep it up beautifully. If you're looking for an affordable place to stay around the midsection of Long Island, as far as I'm concerned, this is it. And it's sort of old school in a cute way. You know, like the the metal key, and it, it sort of brings you back to, you know, the days of staying in motels back in the 60s and the 70s. And since it is so clean and it is so well kept, it makes for a very pleasant stay. The service has been wonderful. Everybody I've met here has been extremely friendly. They even have a free continental breakfast and free Wi-Fi. That's probably the fastest free Wi-Fi I've used anywhere. I'm walking away from this place impressed. Really, I mean, there's so few negative things to say here that honestly, this is probably earning a five-star review from me. For what it is, they do a fine job. Hope you enjoyed this tour. That's all I've got for you. Thank you as always for watching, and that is it.